the question is straightforward it tells us to solve the following set of inequalities by graphical method and find the feasible region so basically we have to draw the feasible region for x plus y is greater than or is equals to 8 to draw its straight line we need two points for drawing any straight line we basically need two points and it is easy to calculate two points which are at intercepts so if, uh, if x is equals to 0 we will have the equation as x plus y is equals to 8 and if x is equals to 0 y will be equal to 8 likewise if y is 0 and we put y as 0 over here our x will be equivalent to 8 so two points for this line can be 0 comma 8 and 8 comma 0 for 2x plus y is greater than or is equals to 12 we can draw this straight line as well <coughs> if x is 0 the equation will become 2 into 0 plus y is equals to 12 and therefore y will be 12 then our first point will be 0 comma 12 our second point will be if y is equals to 0 2x plus 0 is equals to 12 and x is equals to 6 therefore 6 comma 0 for third line x plus y is less than or is equals to 10 we can draw this line as if x is equals to 0 y will be 10 and therefore our first point will be 0 comma 10 and secondly if y is equals to 0 x will be 10 so our second point will be 10 comma 0 so we have identified all the points two points for each of the line to, to draw them and now we can proceed with the graph it further says that x is greater than is equals to 0 and y is greater than is equals to 0 these are non-negative equity constraints stating that our graph should be in the first quadrant if I draw my y-axis and my x-axis and I start with the first line the equation of my first line the first line was 0 comma 8 and 8 comma 0 now if I draw 0 comma 8 and 8 comma 0 my number 8 will be here so this point is 0 comma 8 and sorry 8 comma 0 and this point let's say is 0 comma 8 this is the origin and at y axis x is always 0 and at x axis y is always 0 so this point is basically 8 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma 8 so my first line will be like this my second line is 0 comma 12 and 6 comma 0 which is 2x plus y is greater than or is equal to 12 0 comma 12 0 comma 12 will be somewhere over here because this is 8 and 12 should be somewhere up over here and my 0 comma 12 is this 6 comma 0 will be somewhere over let's say here so this is 6 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma 12 my second line will start from here and end somewhere over here these are my two lines third line is 0 comma 10 and 10 comma 0 0 comma 10 and 10 comma 0 so this will be our 10 since this is 12 this point is 12 and since this point is 8 this point should be 10 somewhere in mid of both of them this will be 0 comma 10 and for 10 comma 0 since this is 8 uh, 10 will be somewhere over here and this can be 10 comma 0 so my third line will actually start from here this point and proceed to the point over here I have drawn all my lines as I draw my straight lines now I have to see the conditions the easiest two conditions are non-negativity conditions 
they say that x is greater than is equals to 0 and y is greater than or is equals to 0 they specify that both of these values cannot be negative this is just to ensure that you do not end up shading any of these areas since this is the uh, quadrant in which x is negative so therefore it is specifies that x should be greater than or is equals to 0 in this quadrant x is also negative and y is also negative and in this quadrant y is negative where is x is positive so it is just to reflect the fact that the shaded region should lie somewhere on the positive quadrant when where x and y both are positive the greater than or equal to 0 specify that both of these should be positive our first real condition is x plus y should be greater than or is equals to 0 it should be greater it should not be less so our x plus y is greater than or equals to 0 is this line and if the area is supposed to be greater than this line we cannot shade the area below this line the area to be shaded must be somewhere above above side the area cannot be over here or here it cannot be over here the shaded area must be above this line second condition is that 2x plus y is greater than or is equals to 0 again the second condition is that 2x plus y should be greater than or is equals to 12 so the shaded region should be above this line as well and this is the second line our shaded region should be above this line as well so this is not a possibility this is not a possibility this area is not possible for us it should be above both of these lines let's say this is line a and this line is line b it should be above both of these lines the third one says x plus y is less than or is equals to 10 now less than or is equals to means that the area should be below the line of x plus y is less than or is equals to 10 and this is the third line if it is below this line and above line a and above line b above line a and b and below line c this is the only possible region which we must shade To remind you from your basic lecture, feasible region is a region which satisfies all of the inequalities simultaneously. If you will pick up any of the points from this feasible region, when you uh, draw it on a graph paper and find out the coordinates of x and y. For example, if you pick up, uh, let's say this point, uh, let's say this point, which is in the feasible region, which is inside our feasible region or you pick up any other point it will actually meet all of these conditions which conditions which are stated in the question number one number two number three number four and number five it will be greater than zero and everything x is greater than zero y will also be greater than zero x plus y will be less than 10 2 x plus y will be greater than or is equal to 12 and x plus y will also be greater than or is equal to 8 so the question is to solve the following set of inequalities by graphical method and find the feasible region. Our answer must be this shaded area. This is our feasible region. Well, I have already uploaded. Uh, I would like to end this video over here with a note that I have already uploaded many videos with regards to linear program, including uh, basic concepts cost minimization and I will keep on uploading more and more videos for AFC and Mac CA examinations BFD examinations which are relevant to which uh, papers with are which have linear programming in their course further I will also like to state that the question may ask you to calculate a cost minimization or a profit maximization point for this feasible region for which we must have an objective function. My next video will cover a question which will have an objective function in which we will have to 
find out a cost minimization or a profit maximization functions too. Thank you.